I can see resources there. I can see resources here. Oh, no. There. Okay, headshot. Nice. Let's get the fire going. Let's burn his head. And lo and behold, there's a troll in here. Yeah, I got no sneak shot. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What am I doing? One more, son, one more. That was really close. Oh my god, I got him. If you shoot him in his bum, he's gonna take far more damage. Oh, that was excessive. Greetings, folks, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Hardcore Permadeath series in the world of Valheim. Now I've done something off the camera just before quitting last uh, the last episode, and that is I went to grab some extra core wood so we can upgrade the bow. I went to the dark forest almost at night, so <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a really good idea because uh, there are a lot of enemies there during, especially during the night time. Oh, we don't have the deer hide. And unfortunately, we don't have the fine wood bow. <laughs> because leveled all the way up to level 3. Yeah, just... Um, we kind of need to do some more farming. I'm way a bit behind in the farming, so we can take care of that in this episode. Also, let's see, we got 60... Okay. Yeah, we can have, have the foot in here. Six, we kind of need 20 more, so let's see, 16 here, let's grab the arrows. And we should do some hunting. We should do some um, cozy things around the base in this episode. I'm not going to do anything crazy, I'm going to keep the arrows with me. We might have some extra raids to do some... There we go, <laughs> just when I was talking about the raid. <laughs> How nice! How nice! Which is, actually, this is great because I kind of needed the meat, so let's get back here on the rock. I know that this is a rock that they can't get us on. And let's start getting them. We're getting the bow skill, we're getting the neck tails, we're getting all the goodies. I actually want to uh, get rid... no, not the fire arrows, dude. <laughs> I actually want to get the elder in this episode. Who knows, maybe that's a possibility. I have some delay between the foods because I ate them in the wrong order. And I'm gonna have to wait for them out or to uh, for all of them to get in the proper uh, timing there. Yeah, so I just replied to a comment uh, on the on the last video with the elder. One of uh, one of you suggested me that I uh, didn't have to do all that crafting to defeat the elder. Didn't need to worry about the armor. Didn't need to worry about the. <laughs> HP and everything. Uh, well, apparently it didn't matter anyway, because I died, so... Um, my idea is not to create speedruns, right? So I don't want to rush things. This is hardcore, I want to play it as safer as possible. And I will do so, and I will prepare anything and... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna prepare everything off the camera, okay? So every boring stuff, I'm gonna still film it. You're gonna have a chunk of it, a live proof that the thing happened, but I'm gonna keep it um, in small pieces, right? I'm gonna keep it in small pieces because honestly, oh yeah, I was going to cook some food, let's cook some food first. I don't think uh, some of you, I don't know, I don't know what to do, honestly, I'm conflicted here because some of you like to actually see the whole thing going down, or whereas others actually don't like all the farming and all the grinding and they're bothered by it so uh, I don't know what to do so I might include it in some episodes I'm gonna keep it short I'm gonna grab the rest of the resources off the camera some wood like wood and stone and everything I'm gonna get this base going even if yeah this is not necessary come on there is one more room there oh my god so um I'm still undecided about what to do in the series, because we have to farm the wood for the smelting process and everything. Yeah, I know we can get there are some tricks here and there, like you can activate fire hazards to grab the... Okay, this is so messy right now that I don't know what am I doing. 
Okay. To grab a lot of coal easier with the fire hazards. But since I have that turned off, if I turn it on, it's going to burn down this entire house because we have the fire close by. So, not going to do that. We're going to look for the the Iktir altar. We're going to look, maybe we're going to do a bit of exploring there and there. See, maybe we can find one close by. There's a slight chance because there are three on the map. And let's do a bit more hunting today. Okay, I'm kind of running low on resources here. So no matter what, the hunting and I'm going to keep the interesting stuff like the hunting and the raids and everything. I'm going to keep those in the videos and there's a deer right there. Nice. But I don't know, I don't know, how you defeat the... How do you defeat the Elder? Unless, unless you're gonna do it like I'm gonna propose, I'm gonna plan on doing it. Encasing him in stone walls so he can't escape and then just hide behind a stone wall in the distance and shoot him with fire arrows. If we're not gonna do this... Um, oh no, no, at least let me get the other deer. Nice, got her. I don't think how else I'm gonna be able to... Um, Finish off the Elder. Because this is hardcore. Keep in mind, this is not your normal um, everyday gameplay. Your usual gameplay. Okay, so let's go back to the coastline before we get lost into this forest. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that deer. Boar. Actually, they actually spawn right here. We kind of need them too, so we just do a bit of farming and everything will be nice and cozy here. But like I said, I know I don't need to have as many resources to fight the Elder, but like I said, my point is not to... I, I'm planning this for a long run, right? So I'm not rushing things. I don't want to get to the Elder and they have to get to bone mass as quickly as possible with no resources. It's it's true. I'm not worried about the bosses because I know how to tackle them. At least now I do. I'm actually worried about the enemies. So actually going into the black forest with no armor and stuff like that doesn't seem like a very good idea. So I have to disagree with my little guy there who actually said uh, <laughs> that you don't need all the armors to defeat the ape. True. No, he was right. You know, he was right. Actually, he was right. You don't need all those items to defeat the elder. You can do it with a crude bow. For all that matters. You can do it with a club if you want. But that doesn't mean it will increase your chance of survival in the wilderness, okay? Because the bosses, the bosses are just milestones in this game. You don't need to actually fight the bosses up until you're ready and you are willing and able to. <laughs> but um, the other things, like the monsters, if a two-star archer hits you in a leather armor, that's if not super staggered and death, that maybe you can get even one-shotted by a two-star archer in the leather gear. So armor kind of matters. I can hear deer. Oh no, it's right here. So armor does matter. It's not like it doesn't matter and you can go running around. So not about... Yeah, for the bosses, fine. You can go bottom naked and fight the bosses because you can hide and have um, creative ways of fighting them. As there's black forest right here. But the monsters, that's a whole nother story. And then they're a whole nother level. Because th there's that's where the problem starts, right? The monsters. Okay, I'm just looking for some extra deer here. Let's see. If we can actually find the... Oh, we can find the boar. So I get your point. Right, you can you can progress faster. You don't need that many items to finish off the bosses, but at the same time, the monsters. Up until you get to the bosses, the monsters will finish you off if you're not prepared, because eventually you will make a mistake. And the point of these videos is not to actually show you how quick I can get to a boss location and uh, <laughs> delete him. Keep in mind we're playing with no map, and that's uh, that's another factor. So yeah, I'm gonna keep going into this direction, maybe, let's see, around here somewhere, oh, wait, is that the altar, the Iktir altar? I think I see it, from here, oh, it is, I think it is, do I have the hoe with me, I think I have the hoe with me, 
Oh, 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 oh. We got it. We got it. Uh, let's take this road. Let's flatten this area up. I know it's not necessary. I just don't like the grass in here when I'm fighting the boss. So you can do the same thing here. You can raise walls again. You, you don't have the pickaxe, but you could have just raised walls and trapped the boss inside. Then he's going to have a hard time um, chasing you. Okay, there's a deer right there. And I'm actually here for the hunting. But it's good that we found this. This is actually great. Let's see if we can make this even. So, there are plenty of methods to fight the bosses, but the monsters, are, there's, that's where the food items and the, uh, and the armor comes into place. You know, you don't want to make mistakes, you don't want to do something silly, and uh, even if you do, you want to have that little backup plan. Because if you are in troll armor, a uh, level 2 archer will not insta-kill you, even if it hits you. And it might surprise you, because I've died so many times in those little... Uh, how are they called? Um, cave, not caves, but the burial grounds, right? So I've died so many times in the burial grounds to level 2 star archers. Because I had this armor on, which is the, the normal leather one. So I get your point, you don't need the armor, but at the same time, you kind of do. You don't need it for the boss, but you need it for the monsters, right? If you want to take on this um, hardcore challenge <laughs> with no items, that's fine by me. That's even even crazier challenge, so fighting the bosses and everything with raspberry and mushrooms or with no food and no stamina if you want if you you want to if you want to try that because there are some crazy challenges out there i just saw one where a guy didn't uh, actually impose some rules on himself and didn't want to move so actually he only dodge rolled to progress in the game and tell me if that's not crazy like it's gonna take you forever and you're gonna have to calculate every single step you're making in the game so let's see can i get that guy but there are some crazy challenges right there, like I said. My idea here is not to do a excessively insane challenge and uh, still enjoy the game, still have a nice gameplay, but at the same time beat the game and the bosses and everything. We can go for the Elder, we can go for the Elder. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, we can go for the Elder right now, for all that matters. We can go for Ikthir. No, we are finding the birds that I need. We can go for Ikthir, but at the same time I want to do some more uh, exploring in the dark for us. Maybe get a troll or two and get the armor. I kind of need the armor, I don't care. I'm gonna go for that armor. I'm gonna sleep here as soon as possible. But now we got some resources, this is nice and this is what I wanted, right? Some resources in here. And also the meat in here, we're good. That's starting to look nice. Things are starting to look great, let's get for some extra wood in the remaining time of today let's go for one more round of wood and then we can uh, call it the day and sleep on it and the first thing tomorrow morning we can go for um, for some black forest farming maybe we can get a troll in there who knows get some uh, bones and everything and all the goodies oh no see like this if you had no armor and no food here, even this guy would have chunked half your health. So, oh my god, what am I doing? So I get that you don't need the resources to fight the boss, but you need it to fight the monsters. Keep in mind, keep that in mind. Now tell me a two-star level Draugr that spawns in the sunken crypts. If you are in leather armor when you reach the swamp, right? Because you want to defeat bone mass as quickly as possible. If you are in leather armor there, how are you going to face that? Because you're going to die in one swing with zero armor. At least with the troll leather armor, you got a chance of survival of one hit. Maybe, yeah, he'll going to chunk 80% 80, 80 of your HP, but you won't die in one go, in one swing. It's not like hardcore means in instant, instantly death. The armor still counts for the lower level monsters, even for the two star monsters counts. But yeah, I'm not gonna do a very armored or tanky archer here. 
I'm gonna rely on, on speed and dodge rolls. But at the same time, what's this thing? 20 minutes? 20 minutes. Why is it the delay? On, oh my god, there's no delay. It just... my eyes. <laughs> I thought there was a delay there, but there's no delay between them. So yeah, I'm not upset about that comment. I... it's just... I... I try to understand it, but at the same time it feels weird to think think about this game like that. Because this is not your everyday challenge, like I said, it's hardcore, it's permadeath, it's you're gone for good. So why risk it with the normal ones? Because you might not even reach the bosses, <laughs> if you think like that. Right? So you wanna say like, oh yeah, sure, you can you can make a speed run. Yeah, you can defeat the Ikethir with campfires. Just get some wood and some campfires and place them underneath. Underneath the boss, dodge roll everything perfectly, and then you, there you go. You you actually defeated your first boss, super easy. But what do you do next? What are you gonna do in the dark forest when you get there, and the gray dwarfs will stagger you with one little piece of rock? What are you gonna do then? I'm sleeping. <laughs> actually, we can sleep while closing. We can yeah, sleep while closing the door at the same time. So. I totally get that, but still at the same time, you need to be prepared for the low-level monsters and for the normal monsters. Because, like I said, you might not get to the bosses if you have no armor. Fifth day, let's go for the Dark Forest and see what Faith has in store for us. I'm gonna play super safe in there, though. I'm gonna just go around the edges, maybe find a troll, maybe not. We'll see. Hopefully I can get one. But yeah, in full, uh, in full uh, troll armor. I've addressed in in my other episodes, but in full uh, troll armor, leveled up to level three, or level two, or level three, it doesn't matter either way. With uh, three HP items, you can actually withstand a swing from a troll. So that counts for something. You're not dead even if you misplace a dodge roll. Now you cannot resist to a smash attack, but. And so it doesn't come to that. So this is the way I went. And there's a boar right there. That There are two boars. Two boars that might ruin this thing for me. All my exploration here. Let's get the arrows there so I can circle around between them. Now, when I was here for the core wood, I heard some commotion in the dark forest. And I think I actually heard a troll. Right around here. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see. Look at him! <laughs> He's swimming! My man's chilling in there. It's like that little mean kid from your uh, house lake. <laughs> your lake house, oh my god. And he has the wet debuff. In his case, it's a buff, because I plan to use flaming arrows on him. So we're gonna keep this stone in the wood there, where I can see them. So let's see, let me focus in here. I can see resources there, I can see resources here. Oh no! There he is! I knew I heard someone. You I heard a troll in here. And he's kind of restless too. Ooh, we can use the skeletons. Um... Yeah, we can use the skeletons in here to actually defeat the troll. Are there skeleton archers though? Yeah, we can get in here. Uh, I don't want a troll to be in here right now. This is really dangerous. But the troll, does he see me here? It doesn't. Oh no, what am I gonna do about this guy? I think he sees me. Oh no. 
Look at the size of this man. Oh my god. <laughs> what am I gonna do here? Okay, headshot. Nice. Let's get the fire going. Let's burn his head. Oh, I'm barely scraping off his his HP. But the fire arrows are the one to go here. Oh my god, I'm super sweaty. Can I get the troll armor this fast? He's kind of stuck there, so I kind of use I can I can use this structure to my advantage. I'm dealing basically almost no damage to him. Wow, look at this. And he's very, very angry. It feels like a mini boss. It actually feels like a mini boss. It actually feels like a one star troll. Four minutes have gone by, and we're still fighting this. <laughs> Is there an extra one? No. There are just some great dwarves in there. So, yeah, he keeps throwing rocks at us. Wow, we got the troll armor! See, I don't care about it, we have the troll armor. <laughs> so you might say that this is not important at all, but I kind of disagree. Having troll armor this early on is a game changer. I don't need your head. So yeah, in here. I kind of wanted to loot these, this house. So let's see, let's focus here. Like you can see here, one arrow, one, one um, rock from these guys. And you're getting staggered. We have a lot of resources. Oh, we have... Uh, can I have the feathers? Feathers, feathers, feathers! More important than anything. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. There are times where I would actually trade the... <laughs> the troll armor for some uh, feathers. Okay. I'm paying very close attention to everything that's going on in here. There might be a guy inside. Yep, there is. <laughs> Usually sometimes they get trapped inside. Let's see what's inside the barrel. Flint, rocks, more rocks. I don't need the flint. You can find it super easily. So we're not going to worry about that. Flint head arrows. No, don't need those. Go away. Thank you. Okay, let's get the blueberries and... Uh, how much time has passed? So, four with two more minutes. So, since we defeated the troll, eight minutes. We can actually go this way. There is a spawner right there. And let's see. Was that a normal troll or is it a part of a troll cave? Let's take the spawner from a safe distance. Yeah, we're gonna use like five arrows. But at least we took it out safely. Oh no! <laughs> Look at the way they move, and they actually move faster, I'm cornered. This is why it's important to see where you're going into this game. And that was a two star. We're fighting two stars, second episode in. Is that a troll cave? That kind of looks like a troll cave from here. Oh, is it a troll cave? Please be a troll cave. Because if I get in the second episode the leather arm, the troll armor, then uh, oh no, I don't think it's a troll cave. Oh, it is a troll cave! Wow, look at this! How dangerous is this from a scale of 1 to 10? <laughs> yeah, we can have the fire here, so we know we've been here. 
We can have this. No, don't, 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 don't craft them. Oh, it's fine, I guess. Yeah, why not? Let's have them. There. I'm gonna use the fire arrows. Oh, however, I don't think it's the best idea to go with the troll. But in theory, they should be the better thing here. Let's wait for the rested buff. Go to the SSAO and... Wow. Can I actually do this? I want to lose my head in here. But if I get the troll armor this uh, this early, this is huge. It's huge for the for the run. And lo and behold, there's a troll in here. Yeah, I got no sneak shot. And this guy is not stuck like the rest of the trolls. Come on. I'm really worried about that rock, honestly. Come on. That's what it is. I'm not gonna do a lot of talking. I don't have the bow skill. Like, I can only shoot one arrow at once. Before he decides to jump on me. Oh, that was super dangerous. Oh, my heart is pounding so, so hard. My heart is pounding so hard. Okay, I didn't get to do anything there. Please, game, don't lag on me. He's really annoyed. He's really annoyed with me. Can I get one more? Can I get one more? Nice. So tell me, how are you gonna do this if you don't have the appropriate food? Because then you will have no stamina. He's kind of got me stuck there for a second. Oh man, my heart is spawning so badly. Oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. What am I doing? One more sun, one more. That was really close. Oh my god, I got him. Oh, I'm sweating, I'm sweating bullets. I'm sweating bullets. I'm sweating bullets right now. Oh my god. I'm super sweaty. I think I have <laughs> increased my body temperatures with one or two degrees. I think I might have fever. Oh god. Oh god. We have troll armor, folks. I I'm super sweaty. Like this is this is unreal. This is a stupid idea. <laughs> Let's get back home. I don't want to spend any any other second. Oh, it was this close to my other. Oh my god. Yeah, I couldn't see it from there. To my other camp. It was this close. Wow. Okay, so far so good. We had the troll armor. We have the troll armor. I'm gonna go and craft it actually. I'm gonna wait around for any great dwarf. Let's just go for it. Just go for it. Just go for it. Am I going in circles? I think I might be going in circles here. I know the way out of the forest is somewhere on that way. <laughs> so yeah, you kind of need to have a good sense of uh, orientation when you're gonna play this. So you know where you are at all times. Nice, one deer. One have one one deer. <laughs> one star deer. Wow, there was some mean fight going on here. Between some skellies and uh Great Dwarf. Okay, we have some extra wood, we don't need that. Okay, one second here.
Let's get back home. Let's get back home. We have the troll armor. Oh my god, we have the troll armor. Where's the house? I am super sweaty and super... Um, come on, come on, come on. Super worried about the... The fact that I might lose something and do, stum do something stupid here. I'm just focusing to get back home safely. Oh, come on. <laughs> There's another one right here. There is another one right here. Okay, we're going. We're going. Oh, we are home. Home sweet home. I've never been so happy to get back to the base. Like, ever. <laughs> ever, ever. Look at this. We have the troll armor. Let's not have lose our heads here and place everything in the, their appropriate chests. Now, we do have some extra weird mushrooms going on. But yeah, we can place everything in here. Yeah, they're getting a bit crowded, so I might need to work on the chests. And work on the base. But tomorrow we can go and fight Iktir. We can actually go and fight Iktir easily. No problem there. Place those in there. No, not the arrows. I wanted to get rid of these items. Okay. We have troll armor, and we can also upgrade it because we have a lot of bones. Let's just celebrate together, folks. So there's one. There's a second piece, and we can also, I think we can upgrade them. Not all of them, but we can upgrade two. Two of them. Let's go for these two. I kind of needed one extra troll. But yeah, I'm way more... Um, Comfortable fighting them outside. Look, look at the armor going crazy, crazy. So yeah, that's basically not important. Until it is, until you discover that actually is. I have to get rid of this armor. We don't longer don't. We no longer need it. And have to get rid of this bow too. Sadly. Oh my God, my heart was pounding so so bad right then and there. It never actually, it never um got so scared in my entire life like when fighting a troll like right then and there i'm actually a bit um i'm nauseated just because i don't know maybe i was too stressed trying to take out the troll uh let's see arrows for um for the arctier fight right let's get the arrows for the arctier fight just a second here Okay, so what do we need? We need just the arrows for the Ektir fight, right? Yeah, we just need the arrows. We're not going to do anything crazy. Um, okay, so for the arrows, we need around 100. 100 would, should do. It's just, it's just the Ektir. But yeah, having the armor and fighting the actor in this armor, even if he hits me once, uh, I feel way more comfortable with that than just um, having no armor. So we can sleep on it and first thing in the morning... Uh, we can go and fight him, actually. And basically after we fight him... We're good. We're, we can start working on the base. We can start um, getting resources and I'm gonna create a large area right here and I'm gonna raise the ground and everything. All the good stuff. Okay, so I think we're good to go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't have the deer heads. I don't have the deer heads. It happened to me so many times where <laughs> I just went to fight uh, the Ikthir and I had no deer heads. Now, fortunately, we found the altar right then and there. Otherwise, I should have... I, 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 uh, let's get rid of these items. I should have get back to the bay, to the stones. Oh my god, what am I talking about? My head, my head is not here. 
I had to reply to a message. And get back to the stones and then create a pathing from the stones all the way up to the Icthyr. Oh, there's the path. So, yeah. Second episode, and we are down taking the Ike there. So I am partially taking that advice. We're not rushing things. I kind of need it so we can upgrade the base. And I'm going to do the base upgrade uh, off the camera. Like I said, I'm just going to keep a few moments here and there. I'm going to show you a few moments of uh, the entire process. And most importantly, I'm going to tell you how long it took me to um, actually hunt his skin. Okay, thank you. Get rid of... Can I... Oh my god, why did I do this? How long it actually took me to defeat him. To defeat him. Oh my god. <laughs> to finish the base. Yeah, I keep missing this shot. This guy is super easy. His he has a weak spot. He's uh, actually bum. If you shoot him in his bum, he's gonna take far more damage. Oh, that was excessively loud. Let's wait for some stamina here. He's gonna be really confused once once I uh, start chasing him around the stable. So uh, if you want to play even safer here, you can actually encase him in. Uh, <laughs> Actually, you can't. You have to defeat a troll for that. But yeah, there's a uh, easy, easier way to defeat him if you just find a troll and get the pickaxe first. The copper pickaxe. The bronze pickaxe, Jesus. I am keep spinning. I hope your head is not dizzy. Because mine kinda is. Let's wait for the stamina. He's gonna do his... Uh, yeah, his jump. Just wait for his hoofs to go down. When his hoofs will go down, then you know he's gonna slam them into the ground and create that AoE. Very large area of damage. Whee! <laughs> so there you go, Ike here. And it's gone. And we also got some wooden resin. But now we're gonna have to face even worse raids than ever. Yeah. Because now the raids will be really, really dangerous. And we also... Wow, we really... We kind of wasted like 25 arrows on him. Oh, actually, let me get back to the... Oh, I need to get back to the stone so I can get the Ike tier buff. Let's just do that really fast. Let's get back to the stones, get the buff, and then run over the buff home. Not gonna wait on anything. We're good on resources and everything, we just need to get back to the stones. And they're kind of far away from, from the base, so this is the only downside. We have no portals, no nothing, we kinda have to run. So feel free to skip like two minutes into the video, or so, or even three. Because this will uh, this will be the amount of time required for me to get back there and get back home. But it will increase our uh, running, which is really important actually. Because if you increase your running skill, you're gonna yeah I don't know where we are. I've been here. Increasing our uh, running skill will yeah eventually gonna end up in a situation like this one where you kind of have to, even if you don't, get one of them. And since I'm getting one of them, I might want to get all of them. Come on. You know what? I have seven more arrows to go. And they're all for you, friend. Look at this. Since the boar was in my way, so... Might as well. I think... Yeah, one more run. So I was talking about the running, yeah. So the running is really important just because you need the feathers. Yeah, 
you kind of need to run away from enemies a lot. <laughs> especially, especially if you're gonna play bow only. But yeah, I'm curious. I would, uh, I would pay money just to see someone finish this game in uh, without, without fighting with a bow. So melee only challenge. Finish the game in permadeath hardcore. That means insanity. That means timing perfect every single dodge roll and the perfect management of the stamina. And this is no Dark Souls. This game is way more difficult than Dark Souls because I've seen some uh, Dark Souls players there totally obliterating the game with one or two hitting the boss in two or three th um, hits and leading the boss in three hits with powerful uh, gear. And others actually... Um, there, there are some crazy challenges there too, but don't get me wrong, but I feel Valheim is way more difficult than Dark Souls, just because it's about getting staggered. You don't get staggered in Dark Souls, you just take the damage. But here you get staggered, and if you get staggered, you're kind of screwed. You can't dodge roll, you can't do anything. If you're getting staggered, you're done. It happened to me too many times, having um, archers or something like that. Staggering me in one swing and then the next arrow would kill me. Good, now we have the Ike here. We can run forever back to our base. I think we're gonna make this episode a bit shorter. We're gonna stop here and because it's a lot of work I have to do off the camera. Getting the base ready and getting all the wood ready. And then we're gonna have a small episode where I build the base. It's not gonna be a very fancy base, just a small effective one. You're gonna need the core wood and everything. So, uh, I'm not gonna need a lot of core wood, maybe around 100. That would be easy to get. So yeah, but I think I'm gonna do that off the camera. Just show you, if anything happens, I'm gonna start recording and uh, show it and share it with you. Boy, this Ikthir buff takes forever and lasts forever. Look at the little knack running. They're so cute, though. Yeah, that that troll fight actually. Wow, that was that was too much. It's late in the day, and I'm doing this. It's it's one thing when you do it in the weekend, in the morning, and when you're rested and everything. But if you're tired and you try to do that thing with dodge rolling inside a cave with a troll on uh, on your heels with only 22 bows. Yeah, not sure about that. It would have been way easier for me to take out that troll with um, with a spear, right? So using a spear. Oh, nice, nice landing there. Perfect landing. Right when I was worried about the feathers, but I still am. I'm gonna need a ton of them. Oh no. Oh yes, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna need a ton of feathers. Which neck did I upset? Oh, both of them. Okay, that was weird. He, he charged at me and then he went back. But I kind of need their tails too, so they're, they're a good addition. So we're almost back home and uh, we're gonna end the episode right now and here. Gonna craft the pickaxes and then get, get the base going. But it will be a very large base. I'm gonna build a very large base with huge defenses because I'm here for the long run, okay? So I'm not gonna take any stupid risks. I'm not planning on dying. <laughs> I can deal with monsters, even with trolls. Just... I shouldn't have tried to defeat Ike the, um, the Elder without actually preparing myself. Preparing a small arena for him, actually. So, yeah, the Elder requires an arena. The Bone Mess doesn't require anything. You can just fight him off. Just need to be somewhere up and shoot arrows, frost arrows at him. And you're gonna finish him off. So we got the Ike here, we got the Troll Armor, we're good. We can start working on the base. So, thank you all so much for watching. It, been, it has been an amazing adventure. We've done quite so many things in this episode. We took care of the... Uh, of the elder, we got the elder. Oh my god, I keep messing them up. <laughs> I'm I'm scarred. Of Ike there, and uh, 
We got the armor, we got the bow. It's looking good. So I'm gonna start building the base. I'm gonna do something really crazy around here. I'm gonna start actually uh, flattening all, all this area, leveling it up, and then uh, have a huge, huge uh, base here with walls and everything ready for uh, for any raid. To be prepared, I want to be prepared for any raid. So thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you in the next episode.